Another example is a stone check dam. I brought this picture just in order to show that these techniques are simple and can be applied everywhere, of course, when water harvesting is needed. It can be done mechanically, it, it can be done by hand, it can be done by stone, by earth. Now, on the slopes, we are collecting runoff water along these contour bench terraces. And you, you can see here uh, black or green dots. Each dot is a tree. That's a young tree, one year old carob tree, which is planted in a plastic tube to protect it from grazing. And here is the, the, the contour terrace. Ten years trees are are mature enough and we don't need to irrigate, we are just based on runoff harvesting. We have a crust formed on the soil surface which provides us high percentage of runoff. But runoff is not just water, as I said, it's also seeds, uh, nutrition, organic material. Few days, few weeks after the flood, you can see this uh, green color which is herbaceous vegetation and the flood line is marked by the vegetation. Here it's a good example to see that water harvesting is actually redistribution of water resources. While this area remain bare of vegetation, the areas that we are collecting the runoff water are enriched patches with resources. And even during dry years we have floods. This is very important. This is a renewable resource. Looking at the watershed scale, you, we can see an example that we are treating slopes and valleys. This picture was taken in 1995, and 10 years later, we can see that trees are growing, her shrubs are growing, are growing herbaceous vegetation, and this is a treated area in comparison to the desertified area, which is under the previous mismanagement of the land. Another example on the way to Beersheba, the capital of the Negev, it's part of the green belt around Beersheba. This picture was taken before planting in 1992, and 12 years later, we can see that it's a green area, a green belt, no need more irrigation. As I said, we have the runoff. some of the ecosystem services of these rehabilitated areas. I spoke about green, green belts around communities. This is the community, the small town of Metar. You can see the green belt in a walking distance from the people houses. For sure, it contributes to life, to life quality of the people who are living in these uh, arid conditions. Recreation. Recreation has also livestock, wildlife. Another important source or component for in these areas. Now places that we are collecting runoff water, we have improved pasture. And we are conducting a controlled grazing in order to minimize the fire hazard. And on the same way, we are providing improved pasture for the herds in the area. No irrigation, just collecting of runoff water. So we are conducting applied research and long-term monitoring in order to, to adapt our management activities according to, to our findings. And I'm speaking about applied research. So some basic examples of the research activities, applied research activities. We are measuring rainfall in standard terrain gauges, of course, but we want to understand better the regime and the pattern of the, of the rain, of the rainstorms. For example, here you can see a rainstorm. Each uh, color uh, symbolizes different rain intensity. And you can see the high variability in space and time of the, of the rain. Understanding the rain pattern will help us understand the runoff. In this uh, partial flume, in this gauge, we are measuring the runoff. Actually, we are measuring the height and we are uh, transferring it to discharges and to volumes. Very important component in order to, to plan our activities properly and to minimize damages and to 
plant the right trees that can survive even during dry years. We are monitoring the grazing impact on vegetation and runoff. You can see here that this is a grazed plot. This is a fenced non-grazed plot. And we have studied that grazing is very important component because grazing increases runoff. So controlled grazing will reduce erosion, but will still provide runoff. We are monitoring the water and carbon balance in uh, Yatir Forest, which is one of the FluxNet, international FluxNet, very famous. Uh, 